Hello everyone. Here we are with uh, a side-by-side -side test of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus and the Samsung Galaxy S3. Both uh, relatively new phones, one running dual core here, uh, which is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and uh, quad core in the S3. So as you can see, let's go for pretty much identical. The uh, Nexus has a little bit of an advantage because it has soft buttons, so no pressing down hard to have to come back to your home screen. Let's have a go into the app drawers again. Let's see what we're like moving side to side. As you can see, really excellent and fluid, both just as good as one another. TouchWiz 5 on the uh, S3, a little bit more uh, laggy as it were, but it's more of an animation thing. It's not actually lag lag from the phone, it's just the way they set the animation up. Where on vanilla, as it were, ice cream sandwich. It's been set up and optimised just to quickly flip between very quickly. Let's have a look at the app tray. No difference there at all. Very responsive. Okay, let's have a look at opening the Play Store. Pretty quick on both. See slightly different functionality there on how they handle on the buttons. If we uh, let's go into the settings. See both very, very fluid. You're not going to be able to pick much between them. Camera wise, slight difference 5 megapixel on the Nexus, 8 megapixel on the S3. Personally, I think the images on the S3 are slightly better. Yeah, the resolution helps, but I think the colours are just a little bit sharper as well. Um, actual hardware wise, not a lot between them. The NFC kicking in between the two phones there. Profile on them is very similar on both phones. Just S3 slightly bigger, but not by very much. You can barely kind of see them sitting on inside one another. 